All right, hello everyone. This is Kevin from Mets Heuristics here to cover PSLE 2022 Math Paper 2, Question 17, the question on cakes and cherries. So a total of 40 large and small cakes in the ratio of 5 is to 3 were baked. Cherries were used to decorate each large cake and each small cake in the ratio of 3 is to 2. 204 cherries were used to decorate all the small cakes and seven large cakes. How many small cakes were baked? How many cherries were used to decorate all the small cakes? And how many cherries? How many additional cherries are required to decorate the remaining large cakes? So the first part is pretty straightforward. Okay, if you have large is to small in the ratio of five is to three. So your total number of units here is eight. This is 40. This must be 25. This must be 15. Convert them to actual numbers so you know that you have 15 small cakes baked. Right? So how many cherries were used to bake all the small cakes then? So we observe that here we are given statements on the number of items, the number of cherries per item, cherries per cake, and this is your total number of cherries. Okay, so all 15 cakes, all 15 small cakes were decorated with cherries and only seven large cakes were decorated with cherries. As such, we can make use of number times value equals the total value on set. Okay. So we cover this extensively in our unit transfer method modules and workshops. So you got large and small cakes, seven large, 15 small. Cherries per cake would be in the ratio of three to two, right? So this would be three units worth, two units worth. Multiply that out, you get 21 units here, 30 units here. Then you see that your total number of cherries used must have been 51 units. Okay, so the 51 units here must represent these 204 cherries. Okay, once you form that connection, 51 units represent 204 cherries. One unit will represent 204 divided by 51 to give you a 4. So you know that for part B, the number of Cherries used for all the small cakes must have been 30 times 4, 120. So this will resolve part B. And then for part C, how many more cherries are required to decorate the remaining large cakes? So you can see that every large cake will require 12 cherries, right? 3 times 4 will give you a 12. How many large cakes are there remaining? There must be 25 of them minus away 7, then you multiply it by 12. So that's going to give you 216. Okay. So you have resolved part C. Okay, your answers A must be 15. B must be 120. C must be 216. All right. 